How's it going everyone? Kevin here and today I have my hands on a really cool product called the Blink One Mark II. So let's get right into the unboxing and review video. Blink One Mark II is a notification status LED light which can be configured via the control software which is on the ThingM website. You can use the Blink One in a lot of different ways which I'll talk about later in this video. But for now, let's get right into the packaging. In the box, you will find the Blink One device, an eco-friendly packaging, and below that is a 5 foot USB extender cable in case you want to use this on a desktop computer which sits below your desk. Everything else that you're going to need is on the ThingM website. Going over to the website, you're going to find a lot of cool applications and resources made for the Blink One. Let's try out one of them. So I switched over to ScreenFlow so I can show you how to install and use the Blink One control application. The first step is to go over to the link which I'll be posting in the description bar below and onto the ThingM website. Let's go ahead into the software downloads page and download the Blink One Control zip or DMG file. I already have this so I'll be skipping this step. Now that I've downloaded the app, let's plug in the Blink One and try out some different modes. Since the LEDs in the Blink One are RGB and individually programmable, you can make each one show a different color or they can work together in a really nice effect like the police car and the fire engine mode. You can set the Blink One to pulse when you have received an email, Facebook update, or Twitter notification. Or if you're in an office setting, press it up against the glass using the USB extender cable so that you and a coworker can have separate notification reminders. I use the Blink One on my MacBook Pro to monitor its temperatures. And of course, for those of you who want to take it to the next level, the control app has many different features like IFTTT, tools, mail, and hardware. This gives the Blink One a ton of more uses and makes it interesting for programmers. There are APIs for C, C++, Objective-C, Java, Python, and the list goes on. You can even take apart the Blink One and attach more LED strips to enhance the effects. I can even make the whole back of my desk into a notification LED light. There are a lot of applications made for the Blink One and you'd be surprised what you can do with such a tiny device that only costs 30 bucks. Right now, you can pick up this product at the ThingM website, which I'll be linking down below. I'll also be answering any questions that you guys might have down in the comments on YouTube or over on Twitter. So that about concludes my thoughts on the Blink One Mark II. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Expect to see more content from me coming soon, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.